So Cremant, Cremant of course, is our traditional method sparkling in France, not in Champagne. So how many Cremants are there? Any are there? Extra points if you can list them. Okay, the music stopped and we have some people locking in their answers here. And we have uh, a variety of answers. Three, seven, six, four, four. So those are the answers so, uh, so far. All right, well, it's a little more than that. You probably are familiar with your Cremant Alsace, Bourgogne, Lamou, et cetera, but there are actually eight, eight Cremants in France. Nine if we include the one in Luxembourg, which is France. But we'll go ahead and just call it eight. And a shout out to Devor. So with these Cremants. Right. Excellent. All right, so with these cremant, how long must they spend aging on their leaves? Is it six months, nine months, 12 months, or 15 months? So how long do they need to spend on the leaves to get those yeasty, toasty flavors? Okay, a lot of people feeling confident here and a lot of like minds. Um, and we have nine months as the predominant answer. Well done. It is indeed nine months. Excellent. So, of these Cremant, my personal favorite is Cremant de Loire. Which of these four grapes is typically not used in Cremant de Loire? Is it Chenin Blanc, Cabernet Franc, Sauvignon Blanc, or Pinot Noir? Okay, we have um, a lot of people saying Sauvignon Blanc, uh, one person saying Cab Franc, another person saying Chenin Blanc uh, as well. Uh, take it away. Well, those of you that said Sauv Blanc, well done. All four of these grapes are, of course, grown in Anjou Samar and Terrain, but Sauvignon Blanc is not typically used in our Cremant de Loire as those aromas aren't necessarily suitable for our traditional method sparkling wines.